Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero Sixty. And behind me, you can see some wheels. Yeah, on Monday, which was one day after the last roll racing, I noticed these on Facebook Marketplace for probably a little bit too much money. Um, but I ended up messaging the dude, and we did a bit of a deal, and I've ended up with some lightweight 18 by 10s on the rear and 18 by 9s on the front. Now these are made by Koya. It's a Aussie company. Now Koya. They've got a checkered past, um, but lately, sort of the last three or four years, most of the wheels they do, they're their own design, and they're supposed to be pretty good wheels. I've never owned a set of Koya, but generally, they're regarded as a good wheel. Uh, they're normally quite expensive, sort of $450 to $500 a rim for something like this, and a lot of it is made to order in Brisbane, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but these actually came off of a... F82, I think, uh, BMW M4, and he, he was using them as his track wheels. You can see the rear setup is 18 by 10 with an ET30, and the front is, if I just roll it around, the front is 18 by 9 ET19. Shit, I thought it was 22. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> These might not fit. Um, yeah, basically, I thought I'd have a crack at them because I definitely need to get some better traction for rolls. And even if I can't get the rears to fit, the fronts are actually, the tyres that are on these things are 265 18s. The rears are 295 18s. So there's a few reasons why they're not going to fit my vehicle. Firstly, obviously, the size of the bloody things. However, I did a quick bit of research and I did find someone with a similar outer limits is that the right word? Basically, the outer edge of their setup on an E92 coupe, they had to roll the guards and a little bit of cutting and dashing, but then they got that, they got that to fit. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get the rears to go on without any issues. The fronts, there's two things we're going to be up against. Um, I think I'm going to be okay with the clearing the strut tower because these are only a nine. I've got a mate that actually got nine and a half on the front of his E92 and he had to run five mil spaces and they had a similar offset from memory. But what's gonna be my challenge are these brakes. So because some spastic put massive 380 mil front rotors on his E92, me, um, wheel fitment is an issue. Now generally this size wheel they'll say will only fit Sorry, this size brake, you can only run them with a 19 inch wheel. Obviously this being an 18, what gave me hope, M4s have 378 mil rotors. So an M4 rotor is only two millimeters smaller than that. And these run an M4. I did do a quick bit of research on Koya's website and they also said that these are big brake compatible. It's gonna be luck of the draw if it fits. It's Christmas day. I'm about to go and have a very jolly Christmas lunch. And I thought what better time to find out if my wheels fit or don't fit. So let's get it up on the hoist and we'll see if we can get these front wheels on and then work out, if they clear the brakes, that'll be stoked, I'll be stoked. And then we'll work out how, what we've got to do to get them all to fit. If they don't clear the brakes, I'll be upset and I'll probably just go and try and do some timed runs with these on the rear because these should fit on the rear without too much drama. And they're still wider than what I've currently got. And obviously it's the semi-slick type pattern. These are quite old tires. The front tires are six years old. The rear tires are two years old. There's not a lot of tread left on any of them. The reason I ended up going for these was a complete impulse buy. Um, but I also kind of justified it in my mind because I was thinking even if I, I could probably get the wheels for similar price. Like if I, I know a few wheel shops, they'll probably do me a bit of a deal. And I probably could have got brand new wheels for the same price. However, I wouldn't have had tires on them. And at least having these tires on them, which are probably the biggest tires I'd ever want to put on that car, I can see what I can do to make it fit. Where if I didn't have these second hand tires, I'd be guessing and I'd have to buy some tires, get them fitted up to the rims, then try and fit them to the car. So even though these tires don't have a lot of life left in them, at least I can use them for fitment purposes without fitting tires that are never gonna fit. All right, let's get it on the hoist and we'll see. We'll see if that's gonna clear the brakes. That's my biggest, most nervous thing. Oh yeah, Cletus's Christmas tree drag race, best Christmas movie ever. Go. 
All right, so I've got the car up on the lift. I have loosened off the bolts. So the gun should now remove them all. Didn't loosen that one very well. Okay. So, China wheel off. I'm nervous about this, guys. I'm so nervous I haven't even weighed the wheels, although I did compare them to some others. All right, I'm gonna switch angles because it's gonna be close. I'll tell you what, they're definitely lighter. <gasps> oh my God. They've gone on, no way. Oh, we've actually got adequate clearance on an 18, holy shit. I was not expecting that, I was hoping. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> okay, all right. We got some poke. We got some poke, holy shit. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Damn, son. All right, I put some bolts on. <laughs> All right, I got three bolts in it now, and we are good. There's no rubbing on anything. So it's cleared the shock, it's cleared the brakes, but we do stick out a little bit. Um, luckily for me, I bought the coilovers that don't have adjustable top hats. So feeding negative camber into these to help with clearance isn't an option. Um, and judging by how much that pokes out, I'm probably going to be a little bit optimistic with this front wheel. Damn it. But we might be able to make it work somehow. Somehow. Because I kind of like the idea of having a nice meaty stance if I'm doing any track work. Um, what we might do next is test fit a rear and then we'll drop it down and see what it looks like. All right, let's go and get the other one. They are definitely lighter than my China wheels. Ooh. Okay, it's on. All right. That doesn't stick out as much. Interesting. To be honest, I kind of, I've got no issues running a skinnier tire on the front, obviously. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when I drop it down. We'll see what it looks like drop down. Let's give these a little. the hell is going on here? Okay, quality Ryobi. All right, let's lower it down and we'll see how close everything gets with the suspension. Has some load on it. And these actually have a fair bit smaller rolling diameter than the other wheels. So I'm gonna put these ramps underneath it to make sure it does bottom out. because I've got a feeling it'll just drop down onto the hoist and not actually give enough hoist clearance. It would just be sitting on the hoist. All right, moment of truth. You guys get to see the worst one. Did the guard pop out? I can't see. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, fucking hell. We don't get much travel there, do we? It's 
way in. Oh, damn it. Now, I have got a couple of options with this. Um, I can get the offset machine down, um, which is probably gonna be the best option, I think. Koya, they're not too far away. Yeah, hopefully I can get this offset and pull it in a little bit. We'll stick it right up on the hoist shortly and we'll see how close it is to the suspension. But yeah, let me know if you guys are into having dance boy effect, is that something you can get away with? I can't, obviously not. I mean, that's, that's the only travel we've got now. Not that this has any travel in the front at all anyway, but yeah, it's no good. Even with a, even with a um, really stretched tire, that's, that's no good. You're getting shit for driving like that in Australia with the, with the tire poking out. However, that one, that one's good. Two nine fives, hell yes. Right, I like that. We're gonna have to probably put some camber in it, um, which we can do, it's not the end of the world. I don't mind doing that, but gonna have to roll these guards as well. I kinda wanna get it on. So I just thought I'd show you the difference between what I'm trying to fit on and what I was. So that's a 255 PS4S. That's actually an F30 fitment size, but that's what I've been running on the car. And this is the 2953018. This outer diameter, rolling diameter, is closer to what the E92 should have, where this is a little bit larger than what the E92 had. But I kind of like the, the meaty look I've been getting with the F30 tire size. I do like it. Um, but I'll show you why we're here as well. That is my current fitment, I've actually bought 12 mil spacers to go on this car. And obviously we have heaps of guard clearance. And we're down on the floor fully now. That's where we are now. Um, that is as much, oh, there might be some, no, there's not. That's as much negative camera as I can get on the front without buying new strut tops, but it's 50 bucks for new strut tops. So I can deal with that. And that's the rear. I've never done a wheel alignment on this car, a bit dodgy, but I reckon that's not terrible. We're not, yeah, it's like no poke at all, apart from down the back. So with some decent guard rolling, some trimming of the bumper, I'm hoping the back's gonna be fine, but we'll see. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can get this wheel machine down a bit, pull, I need to measure it properly, but at least seven to eight mil out of the offset and that'll pull the wheel in a fair bit. You can see there's still heaps of meat left on this hub. Also, I noticed when these bolts went in, I'm only getting about three turns on the bolts. So this hub section of the wheel is very, very thick at the moment. So we can pull it in, that's all good. And that will instantly give me more clearance in there. We'll have to go to a skinnier tire. Um, what are we running at the moment? 265, 3518s are what's on here. Um, so we'll go to a skinnier tire and you can't, roll these guards because they're plastic but there are a few things in here that i know we can trim out i need to do a bit more research on making clearance for wider wheels it'd be nice to get some sort of semi-slick on here that's maybe a 245 235 if we have to um and of course as we go to a skinnier tire on the nine inch rim that's gonna what's it called that's gonna give the tire some stretch so again it'll be a bit better clearance god it looks cool but hopefully, I've just got more tire sizes options if I go for a 295, sorry, more tire options, but we can obviously go to a 285, 30. We could probably even get a 275, 35 on here uh, without causing too many dramas. The rear rolling diameter is smaller than the front rolling diameter at the moment. So yeah, let me know what you think. And obviously we've got heaps of meat to, heaps of metal that we can roll, do some trimming. If you've gone through the process of getting big wheels on an E92. Let me know what you've trimmed, what you've cut off. I've done a little bit of research, but I'm sure I've got some learning to do. But yeah, let me know if you think that's gonna make sense. Get that wheel machined in so it goes in sort of eight, maybe 10 mil. I reckon I might even be able to get 10 mil in and that'll help the outer clearance really well. We've got heaps of brake clearance. Look at that. That's a good 35, 40 mil. Or 10 centimeters, if you're a man. Yeah. I think we're going to be able to make these wheels fit and it's not going to be a complete loss. Although once I make them fit, they'll never fit anything else apart from somebody that wants a Stance Boy E92. All right, let's get it back up and just double check a few things. 
yeah, I kind of want to try and make, I kind of want to try and make them fit. Um, yeah, something I probably didn't mention, but I should have. The reality is, uh, I kind of want any advice anyone's got on making them fit. Let's get up and check suspension clearances. All right, so there we've got the wheel to coilover gap. Hopefully you guys can see it. Heaps of room. So I could definitely pull the front wheel in probably five mil and get my finger through the whole gap. Maybe five mil, maybe eight mil. Not sure if it's gonna be enough to make this work, but maybe five mil off the wheel offset and then a skinnier tire will also help. In fact, it'll definitely help. We'll go down to like a two, three, five or two, four, five. Hmm, she's close. Look at that caliper gap. There's a gap there. Oh man, I hope I can get these lightweight wheels to work. I'm not gonna drive on them all the time. It'll just be for track, because um, they're nice and light, and rolls, that sort of stuff. Now the rear, <laughs> holy shit, she's a beefy tire. But quick comparison, 295, 255. This has got to help with traction. Oh, we've got heaps of clearance around the back. Yeah, oh yeah, heaps and heaps of clearance. Um, and obviously we've got a camber, got some camber adjustments, which I reckon, do we have adjustment up there? I'm pretty sure we do. We'll be able to adjust it a little bit. Maybe, actually, if you pull that one out, that'll pull the top in and give us a bit more clearance. But hopefully we can make that fit. But yeah, that wheel looks sick. Damn. All right. Look at the difference. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 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 I hope we can make it work. I really do. And we'll just check our axle wire in here. All right, guys. I've got to get off to a Christmas dinner. Uh, I just thought I'd film this quick video. I've had these wheels for four days, uh, or three days, and I've been super keen to, well, I just haven't had a chance to even test fit them. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on getting these fronts on. Um, if you've gone through the process, I've never put wheels that are too big or too wide on a car before, uh, but I really want to get a really nice stance out of it if I'm going to run these. They were quite, they are an expensive wheel. Um, so if we're going to run them, we want it to look good. I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. It's probably going to cost a little more money, but that's okay. And again, I don't mind buying decent tires. These are only going to be used for special occasions. Um, and I'll just keep the PS4S's for street use. Oof. Oof, he's a meaty boy. Oh, I think they look, they look so race car. The car's gone from sleeper to, that's probably quick, really quick. Fucking hell. Oh man. Well, at least they fit. That's a good little Christmas present for myself. Yeah, I got these for, well, people are probably gonna laugh at me. I probably paid too much. I could have screwed the guy down, but I was trying to be nice. Uh, 1600 for the full set with the tires. Like I said, that's about, it's a little bit less than I could have got new wheels for. If I'd have spoken to some of the wheel shops, I know they probably would have sold me the wheels for that price. Uh, I got a mate that knows the guys from Koi really well, actually, so. Probably could have got them for that price and brand new wheels, but I wouldn't have been able to test fit the tires or even make any sort of adjustments. And I figured if these just do not fit, I should be able to sell them again to someone with an M4 or maybe an M2. Oh yeah, I was thinking, I'd just make Declan buy them if they didn't fit my car. So there was some method to impulse buying them, but yeah, after roll racing, I've realized how much more traction I need and yeah, hopefully this will be able to let me do some 40K launches at like, a reasonable amount of boost once we get some wide sticky tires on there and i kind of i i've got to be honest i wanted the stance boy look show me a bit of paint there oh well it's the good all right guys thank you very much for watching bit of a it is literally the 25th of december christmas day video i'm gonna go and get very drunk with the family and i'll probably edit this tonight and it'll be up tonight for you Thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.